So what do you do if you have an LED and you don't know its optimal voltage to include into your circuit? Well, to investigate the matter and work out the solution, what I have here is a circuit diagram showing my current circuit. So here's my LED symbol, and there's my LED over there. It's very dimly illuminated. I've got my wiring here, which matches this wiring over here. The wiring up there matches this wiring on a circuit diagram, and my resistor is this thing over here. So this is what I call a variable resistor box or variable resistance box, because what it is is a whole bunch of resistors that match, match up each of these points here on the dial. So at the moment, I've got my single digits of ohms in zero, uh, my two digit ohms at zero as well. So the, the tens are all zero. Uh, I've got uh, hundreds at 200, 200 ohms there. And I've got this set currently to 9,000 ohms. So all together, all together. Uh, 9,000 plus 200 is 9,200 ohms. So as you can see, my LED is very dimly lit. Uh, I'm surprised it actually is illuminating at all. Um, maybe that's because my room is so dark. Uh, and to show you the power source, I have this thing over here, which is my power supply. I'm neither keeping a constant voltage or constant current. In this case, I've got a constant voltage. So this will match your transformer or your battery in your classroom. So uh, I'm using six volts because uh, as you can see here, uh, because all these LED five um, millimeter diameter LEDs, they all run at a voltage range of about 1.6 to say four volts. You don't get much beyond that. So the test a LED, uh, it's probably best to start off at six volts, then go higher than that. And then uh, we're gonna work out the right resistor to use with the LED so that it's bright enough. So at the moment now I've got, uh, 9,000 plus 200 ohms. And I'm gonna show you what happens to the brightness of this LED as I reduce the resistance. So I always set off high, because if you set off low, you will blow the LED. And I'll show you that later in this video. So 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, and now no thousands. Right, it says now I set to two, just 200 ohms. You can see um, that's the uh, the brightness there, which is quite good. I don't think I'm gonna go much further than that right now. And to show you what that means in terms of uh, what's going on in the circuit. So I've got my power source here, which is at six volts plus. Should get a better pen. And that's one terminal there. And then I got my resistor, then my LED, and then my negative terminal, which is zero volts over here. All right. Uh, so I've got it, this at currently 200 ohms. Therefore, what's the resistance of this? Well, uh, and the voltage being used up by it. Well, it's easy to work out. We got uh, a current of um, flowing through here of 20 milliamps, which equals 0 0.02 amps. Okay. Uh, and therefore, my resistor is using a voltage of there's my formula, which is 0 0.02 multiplied by 200. And what do you use calculator? Here it is 200 multiplied by 0 0.02 equals 4 volts. Therefore, this is using 2 volts. This part here is using 2 volts of power. So that's the optimal voltage for this particular. Um, amber LED. Now let me show you what happens if I um, increase the voltage on this. So let's make it blow. And of course, once it blows, it's kaput, it's finished. So I'm going to increase the voltage on this thing here. Uh, and I'll do the off the screen because I'm only going to do, I'm only got two hands here. So set my voltage and I'll make it make eight volts now. So some volts, enter. Yeah. 
Okay, now seven volts. Okay, try again. Reset. Eight volts. Enter. Okay, reset. Nine volts. Enter. Um, and reset. How far can I take this? Um, Ten volts. Wow, I'm still surprised it's alive. <laughs> All right, eleven volts. It's still alive. Okay, well maybe I'm not no way of killing this. A very resilient LED is just to make it to uh, hundred ohms on this. Oh, it's even brighter. How far can I take this? I'm uh, reducing the life of my LED, and let's make it zero volts. Oh. Okay, so the LED's gone off. Is it still alive? I've put it back to 100 ohms, uh, and that LED is well and truly dead. Uh, unrecoverable. This is the only, uh, the only thing I can do with this now is to chuck it in the bin.